non compliance is a world of trouble fines litigations loss of revenue and the destruction of customer trust and goodwill are an ever looming reality so a cms is simply no longer achievable talking about it is one thing but implementing a cms is a whole other ball game so how do you implement an effective compliance management system there's three elements of an effective cms one oversight from the board of directors and management two the compliance program itself and three a compliance order Let's start with one board and management oversight. The foundation of an effective CMS is an active oversight by the board of directors. This oversight involves setting the tone at the top, establishing clear policies, appointing a dedicated compliance officer, and allocating adequate resources for compliance functions. In recent years, the role of the board has evolved, requiring more active engagement. and understanding of the institution's compliance obligations to the compliance program itself a formal written compliance program is at the heart of a cms it should be comprehensive encompassing policies and procedures employee training regular monitoring and a mechanism for responding to consumer complaints in today's digital age the incorporation of technology in monitoring and training has become increasingly prevalent offering more efficiency and real time oversight three the compliance audit The compliance audit acts as a check on the institution's adherence to its compliance program. Whether conducted internally or externally, these audits assess the effectiveness of the CMS, focusing on areas like risk management, control implementation, and the management of corrective actions. Once you've got the basics sorted, you choose the way you want to approach your compliance management. There's three schools of thought in this regard. You can either follow a strict top-down approach, a more flexible and hands-off approach, or a shared responsibility in distributed model. In a strict top-down approach, compliance policies and procedures are dictated by senior management or a centralized compliance department. This approach often involves detailed rules and close monitoring of employee activities to ensure compliance. There are some advantages to the approach, like the elimination of ambiguity, a clear bias towards consistency, and its undoubted effectiveness for highly regulated industries. The hands-off approach provides general guidance for compliance, but allows greater autonomy at different levels of the organization. It's more about setting a compliance culture than enforcing specific rules. It's quite adaptable. Employees feel more engaged in the system, and it encourages innovation. In a shared responsibility approach, the responsibility of compliance is distributed across the various departments and levels within the organization. It's a more collaborative model where compliance is everybody's responsibility. This approach offers a diverse range of perspectives. and often scales easier too so what are the best compliance management tools when looking for a compliance management system you want to make sure you're checking off a couple of boxes first here's what to look for in a compliance management system one it meets your business requirements two it scales easily three it can automate processes four it has great visualization dashboards and reports and five it has a well structured policy management system once you've figured out your requirements it's then time to make a choice there's several great tools you can choose from here are the top five sprinto sprinto helps thousands of companies get compliant with soc2 iso 27001 hipaa and so much more by digitizing and automating the compliance process this means you can get compliant faster and more effectively and stay compliant too. You're wrong instead of just doing an audit survey. Companies just like yours that get compliant with Spinto save up to 80% of their time, effort and cost during the compliance process. To know more, visit sprinto.com or book a demo with one of our compliance experts from the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.